Brothers and sisters, yesterday I spoke about the different ways we could commune with Christ. Um, but I just want to maybe muse on that a little bit more today. Um, and this is really to try and give a bit of hope and encouragement uh, to people who might find themselves isolated from the liturgy, from the sacraments because of this whole COVID situation. Um, people who uh, maybe are just needing a bit of a boost to realize the proximity and how close Christ is to you in your homes. And so I mentioned yesterday about the general presence of God in the world, that no matter where we are, God is present. Uh, how we can become affected by that presence of God is simply by becoming aware and conscious that he is there. Just like if you were in a room and you felt you were alone, and then all of a sudden you discovered that uh, your your best friend or the person you love most was actually in the room, that whole experience of the room would change. Same thing with when we learn to become aware through faith that God is always present to us. Now it's a bit different with God because we can't see God. We can't hear God in the ways that we hear our friends or see our loved ones. But through faith, as our faith deepens, our faith through the power of the Holy Spirit will reveal to us the presence of God in a concrete way in our hearts and our minds. And so really what what is required of us is to, to really persevere in acts of deep faith. And then the more we do that, the more we will grow in faith because faith is a virtue, which is, <clears throat> and like with all the virtues, we can grow in them. Uh, the more we, we, we practice a virtue, that virtue becomes more and more deepened in our life. And so the more we open ourselves to faith and we, we will draw down more and more of the graces of the Holy Spirit into our hearts. And so the, the other part, the other presence I spoke about is that the presence of God in our hearts. If we're in a state of grace, um, that we, we have the indwelling of the entire Trinity in our soul, that we are tabernacles and we don't have to go far to be with God. And, and this is perhaps one of the more difficult uh, ways to practice the presence of Christ in, is the presence in us. St. Paul said that we are living tabernacles, that, that we, you know, we hold the precious treasure in earthenware vessels. And it can be very difficult. I mentioned how the Carmelites, in particular in their spiritual mystical tradition, the great Teresa of Avila, St. John of the Cross, Blessed Elizabeth of the Trinity, or St. Elizabeth of the Trinity, all point to this fact that, that if we learn how to commune with Christ in our heart by turning our minds maybe closing our eyes, shutting off the world, focusing as best we can our energetic minds by invoking the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit, ask Jesus, Jesus, I want to meet you in my heart. I want to turn my gaze away from the world in, inward to, 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 to know your presence there. And what you imagine is just allow your imagination. God gave you an imagination so that he could use it to pray. And so imagine, just imagine, just, just Christ in you. <clears throat> and, and make that point of faith and contact with him. And, you know, strength will go out of Christ into you. St. Thomas Aquinas teaches that spiritual communion is, is, is an immense gift for all of us. And really, spiritual communion is an act of faith. When we think of it, because faith puts us into touch with God. And it's one of my favorite topics to speak about in the spiritual life. And I will remind you about it now, that, that faith is an actual grasp and touch on the living mystery of God. Faith makes a contact with God. But when we make contact with God, you know, it's a spiritual contact. But, but grace flows out of God into our hearts, into our lives, into our families, into our situations. And so this is this is a true contact. And maybe this time of COVID, uh, the good that God is bringing out of this evil is for us to really strengthen our faith. Maybe one of the dangers is that we could, and I'll be careful in saying this, because the sacraments are the complete heart and life of our faith. The Eucharist is the summit and source of our entire faith. Um, but sometimes maybe the way we approach these sacraments are not as or not not healthy enough, or in the sense that we think that's the only places of encounter with Christ. While we have to hold the two together, 
that we can meet Christ in every moment of, every, of everyday life. And the sacraments are there to nourish us, nourish our faith, our hope and our love so that in our ordinary life, all the moments of our life, when we're at home or at work, we can deepen our spiritual communion with Christ in those moments. Of course, we can encounter the presence of God in his word. And that's, I think in this time, it's really important to dive into the gospels. Use this as an opportunity to get to know Christ in his word. And, uh, you know, then I mentioned yesterday, the whole idea of Christ being like two or three gathered. I want to read you a quote by St. Lawrence of Brindisi. Oh, if we were to consider this reality, that God is truly present to us when we speak to him in prayer, that he truly listens to our prayers even if we pray only with our hearts and minds, and that not only is he present and hears us, indeed he, he willingly and with the greatest of pleasures wishes to grant our requests. Lord is with you.